Hi guys, welcome to professional communication tips from the KISS Academy and of course KISS stands for keep it short, simple and specific to be a more effective and efficient communicator. I was teaching a class on customer relationship management and someone asked me a very important question and the question is this. When a customer says thank you, how should the customer service person answer? No problem or you're welcome? Does it even make a difference? And yes, it makes a difference to many customers. Imagine this situation. You're late for work. You run out the door and you haven't had any coffee yet. So you check your pockets and you only discover enough change to buy a small cup of coffee. So you run into the coffee shop, you order the small cup of coffee, but to your surprise, the customer service person serves you a medium cup of coffee with a smile. Now you say thank you, and in that case, it would be okay for the customer service person to answer no problem. Why? Because there may have been a problem. For example, the manager might be not too happy that the barista, the customer service person, is giving away more product than the customer is paying for. And if this happens too often, well, that might have an effect on the business. But if you run into the coffee shop, you order a small cup of coffee and you get a small cup of coffee, well, that's what you expected, that's what you paid for, and that's what the, the coffee shop is supposed to provide for you. In that case, if you say thank you, the customer service person should say you're welcome. Now, they could also say my pleasure, which is also a more polite way of saying thank you, and it shows that the customer service person cares a little bit more about uh, the business they received from the customer. But if you're in a customer service position and you're not sure what to say when, you are always safe saying thank you or my pleasure. I hope this was a useful tip and if you have any comments or questions, I hope you post them here below. Also, I hope you subscribe to get notifications about upcoming communication tips. Until next time, keep it short, simple and specific.